Hello, my name is Harper and I'm a trans guy. And this is my four months on testosterone update video. There hasn't necessarily been a lot of changes since the third month, but I've noticed a lot more things that have probably been very gradual. Um, so much so that I haven't noticed it until it was kind of more drastic, so I guess that's kind of what's going on. And that's why I've noticed so many changes this, 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 this month. Before I get into the changes, I wanted to kind of reiterate what I'm on. So I am on Depo Testosterone, so this little bottle here, and it's a every two week injection into my leg, so it's intramuscular, and the concentration of this is 100 milligrams per milliliter. For the last two weeks, I've been injecting one milliliter of testosterone into my leg, and so this is the point that I will be on until I get my next blood test, and if we decide to go up to 150, which is um, kind of a normal final dose, um, then that's what we'll do. First change is uh, my voice has dropped again. It hasn't been dropping as significantly, I think, from like the second to third month. It was pretty like obvious to me at least, but this time it's been kind of... I can notice it when I listen back, but it's not obvious. And with it, my range has also gone down a little bit and been very much restricted up top. Another change that my partner pointed out this morning, actually, was that I have uh, some fuzz around my face. And so much so that it's kind of getting to look kind of weird and I should probably shave it off. But I wanted to film it before it was gone. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's some, like, fuzz stuff. It's just kind of like darker and like thicker. You can really see it at, at, at this angle because it's like, there it is. <laughs> something is happening. Facial hair isn't something that I really, really wanted or something that I expected. I am East Asian, uh, so typically we don't get, you know, the, the furriest faces. And so I wasn't really looking out for the development of facial hair. So I only started to notice it when my partner pointed it out this morning. Coupled with that is that my arm hair is kind of darker. There's a little bit more of it and it's definitely longer. It's still not a lot. It's not a lot by any stretch, but I had like almost none beforehand, so. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but my, my leg hair is also, you know, longer, darker, and there's more of it. My partner also thought that my eyebrows were thicker. I'm not super sure about that. I think maybe it's just kind of, they've just kind of been filled in a bit more, because they were pretty sparse on like, the, the tail end, and now they're kind of more consistent, so I guess there has been some change there, but I don't think it's, been a really big change. As I've said in previous videos, um, during my like one month on TV, I talked about how my libido had like shot up through the roof uh, from nearly none, and through the months it's slowly made its way back down as my hormones have kind of settled in, and um, I'm not sure if it's the same as it was pre t but it's definitely way calmer, even from like last month. The changes in my kind of body have been a lot more um, obvious this month as well. I put on one of my favorite um, button-up shirts for the first time yesterday, and usually the sleeves like went down to like my my elbow, and the shoulders were like halfway down my arm. But when I put it on this time, it was just like it was a perfect fit. The the sleeves you know went went up to like where my shoulder was before. My shoulders lined up with the seams that are supposed to be here. And so, proof that my shoulders are wider. On my button-up shirt, these sleeves are kind of like rolled up, sewed to be rolled up, and they're a little bit tighter. And I noticed that the sleeves just like were tighter around my arm. It could be because it's now like on my bicep where it wasn't before, but they're definitely tighter. And with that, I've noticed that I've gotten like more muscle mass. I haven't been working out for, you know, the past few months because of school, basically. 
Uh, and so I don't really have any reason to have gained muscle mass other than T, but like if I look in the mirror then it's pretty obvious. Along with the other bodily changes, um, my chest is a lot smaller. I'm really bad with uh, like knowing bra sizes and stuff because I only got ever got measured once. But when I did get measured, I think I was 30B or something, or 32B. I can't exactly remember, but I think I would be not the same cup size anymore. And so that's pretty cool. <laughs> in the start, I was getting a lot of acne on my face, especially in my T-zone, but now I've gotten a lot less of that. Like I've still got more acne on my forehead than I ever did. Uh, pre t but now all of that has migrated to my back, so that kind of sucks. Very quickly, vaguely talking about cycles, you know, like the monthly ones. So, uh, warning. Last month, uh, in my three months on T video, um, I talked about how I had literally had cycle symptoms for an entire month, like from the 2nd to of October until that, um, day I was filming that video, and after filming that video, it continued for um, maybe another three days, and then it kind of stopped, and I have not seen it since, and it's been lovely. I hope it's gone for good. I've spoken to other trans people, and they're like, hey, don't be surprised if it like comes back maybe once or twice more, even in just like a very reduced form, but generally by six months on T, um, it is like completely gone. I haven't really um, ever talked about emotional changes except for my first month on T, so I thought I'd want to talk about that a little bit as well. I've heard that the kind of testosterone that I'm on, depotestosterone, um, can cause a lot of mood swings, um, and I've definitely experienced those, mostly in the realm of going from very, very anxious to very, very, you know, elated and happy. Um, switching between those and in the first couple months I had a lot of um, kind of depressive episodes that again would kind of swing. I would go from being like very happy and elated and you know just loving life to being very very kind of sad and anxious and you know unmotivated, hopeless and stuff. So I'm not sure how much of that is like the effects of testosterone or the effects of this particular testosterone. Overall, I'm a lot happier and confident in myself. Most of that has to do with the voice drop because I already was very androgynous pre-T, like legitimately people didn't know how to gender me a lot of the time um, until I opened my mouth with my squeaky high voice. But now it's a lot more ambiguous, thus a lot of people will either not gender me at all or now have a tendency to gender me correctly, which makes life so much easier and more bearable. I try not to put too much um, care into how much I pass, you know, um, because I feel like that can be a kind of slippery slope, but it, it just feels so good to, you know, pass and have strangers, you know, cashiers and people like gender me correctly and call me he or sir and my height still works against me because I definitely haven't improved in that aspect of my physicalness but often I can just kind of pass as a very short young Asian boy. I think that's all the changes I really wanted to talk about so I guess now it's time for the singing part, along with documenting, you know, what my face and my changes are during my transition. I also wanted to document my singing voice and how that has kind of evolved. One, two, three. Your part-time lover and a full-time friend. The monkey on your back is the latest trend. I don't see what anyone can see in any Here is steeple. We sure are cute and poor to ugly people. I don't see what 
Hopefully I can edit that together so that looks good and sounds good. To recap, uh, this is my four month on testosterone update video as a trans guy transitioning on testosterone and changes happened, went over them, etc. Um, anyway, I guess I'll be going. Uh, my name is Harper and I'll be signing out. See ya.